Senator John McCain died today after an unwinnable fight with brain cancer. The son and grandson of admirals, McCain entered the Naval Academy as kind of a screw-up. He graduated fifth from the bottom of his class. Nine years later, he was serving in Vietnam when his Navy dive bomber was shot down over Hanoi. I would just like to tell my wife I'll get well. I love her. McCain's refusal to leave a North Vietnamese prison camp ahead of his fellow POWs, despite almost daily physical torture, made him a living symbol of the fighting man's moral code. The power of that story helped McCain fashion a role in American politics as the ultimate straight shooter, the man who would always tell the truth and who wasn't afraid to buck his own party for the good of the country. In reality, McCain was nearly as susceptible to Washington's problems as he was adamant about fixing them. Early in his first term in the Senate, he interceded with federal regulators on behalf of a donor, a crooked banker named Charles Keating. But he survived the scandal. No improper conduct is what's important here, and I view that as full exoneration. And later in his career, he co-authored a tough new campaign finance reform law. McCain's entire public persona was a kind of paradox. At once, the Senate's most irascible member and its funniest. My old friend Mo Udall, when he lost, said the people have spoken, the jerks. And so... Uh... <laughs> An old-school hawk who broke with his party on torture and detention. I know from personal experience that the abuse of prisoners will produce more bad than good intelligence. A self-proclaimed maverick who often went with the herd. And nowhere was McCain more contradictory than on the presidential campaign trail, where he tried to sell himself both as an independent thinker and a movement conservative. The overriding influence of the special interest and the submergence of the public interest. McCain lost to George W. Bush in the 2000 Republican primary. But when he won the nomination eight years later, the country had soured on the GOP and was moving decisively toward a new rising star. You will say, yes, we can to change. Badly behind, McCain made a desperate gamble. Don't you think we made the right choice for the next vice president of the United States? Choosing Alaska Governor Sarah Palin as his running mate. Palin helped tank what was left of McCain's chances, and she ushered in the say-anything right-wing populism that made her running mate irrelevant and left him struggling to hang on to his own career. McCain was diagnosed with glioblastoma in July of 2017, but just days later, he returned to the Senate floor to excoriate his own party for rushing to repeal Obamacare. I will not vote for this bill as it is today. It's a shell of a bill right now. We all know that. And to take aim at the hyperpolarized climate that he helped unleash. Stop listening to the bombastic loudmouths on the radio and television and the internet. To hell with them. And then, after 30 years in the Senate, John McCain took his leave. It is an honor to serve the American people in your company. Thank you, fellow senators. I yield the floor.